Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to go over the free Photoshop actions that you can try, a free Photoshop starter pack that you can try to see how these SleekLens actions actually work. So in this video I'm going to show you how to actually install the actions and also how to apply them to your photos and some little tricks that you can do. So the first thing we need to do to actually download the actions is go to SleekLens.com. Uh, you can click on the For Photoshop tab and then click on Photoshop Actions. Here you're going to see all the Photoshop actions that we currently offer. you got a lot to choose from here. But all the way at the bottom you're going to see Free Photoshop Actions Bundle. So I'm just going to click on that. From there you can actually preview how some of these will look, uh, check out some of the information about the presets. But you can actually click the download button just to go ahead and download them for free. Uh, and that will download a zip file for you. So once you have the actions unzipped, you're going to see an ATN file, which stands for action file. This is the actual file we're going to load into Photoshop. So here's the photo I actually want to apply some actions to, and now I need to pull up my actions panel. So I'm going to go to Window, Actions. And here you're going to see my actions panel here. These are the only ones that I have installed currently, but I'm going to load these actions in there. So I'm going to click on this little button up here. This is a little menu button for the actions panel, and I'm going to go down to Load Actions. Here I just browse to the past where the actions were downloaded. I'm going to click on the ATN file here and I'm going to click open. So here you can see these are the actual actions that you get. You get about 12 free actions that you can play around with, but you can actually do a lot with these actions. So the first one we're going to go over is the all-in-one. This is basically an all-in-one edit. Uh, you, can, you, you can definitely add more to this, but this is meant to be an all-in-one fix for the photo. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to run it so you can see how it looks. So this is the type of effect that this action actually applies. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a vintage brown looking photo. Uh, I really like and, and I really enjoy that one, but there's a lot more we can do. So I'm just going to reset that there and I'm going to apply some more edits to it. So uh, this is the back to the original photo here. We have a base section. This is kind of a, a base edit for your photo. So if we click the play button down here and apply that to our photo, we're going to see that this will actually flatten the image, which is okay. Uh, and we want to just click continue there. And as you can see, this kind of just applies a basic adjustment to the photo, and uh, it also gives a folder for the adjustment, so I can actually see the before and after of what it did to this photo. I can e actually even expand the, the folder here and see exactly what it did layer by layer, so I can get a better idea of uh, some of the adjustments that have been made. So now that I've applied that, if I don't like it, all i got to do is delete it, and I'm back to the original photo. Or I can go ahead and continue on with more of the actions here. So now we have a color corrections section here. I'm going to do uh, reduce green. Green. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on my background layer, my original image, and I'm going to click play. And so as you can see, you didn't see any effect to the photo, but what it did is give you a layer mask over here. This is a layer mask where you can actually paint white in to apply the effect. So I have my brushes set to 100 and my flow set to 100. I'm going to go click on my brush, make sure my color is white. And I actually, I can paint away the greens in this uh, foliage back here. And this kind of just gives me a uh, slightly desaturated look. So all i got to do is just paint over there and it's just going to remove some of the green tint from the photos, uh, just making it a little bit more of an edgy looking photo here. So just like that. Now obviously if I don't like this effect, all I got to do is delete it, and I'm back to my original base action. So now let's move on. We have a portrait retouch here. I'm going to click on that one, and I'm going to click on my background layer again. Remember to always click on your background layer. I'm going to make sure I click on that one, and I'm going to click play. So you're going to see a little dialog box on some of these actions, and in this particular one it says, with a black mask selected, use a soft white brush at 100% to smooth your skin. So we're going to actually smooth the skin of this person. This person really doesn't need it, but we're going to do it anyway, so you can kind of see the effect it gives. So I'm going to click continue, and here is our black mask, just like we did on the uh, reduce greens color correction. We're going to get a white brush, and I'm going to paint in on the face. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to paint in on the face and just smooth the skin. So all I'm doing is painting in, and you can see that's a s small smoothing effect here, just like that. I'm just going to paint this area right here, just like that. Now, if this is too much, uh, there's one way to correct this. You can actually just lower the opacity of that layer. So all i got to do is lower it, and it goes back to the way it was before, or I can go all the way to 100, and it's really smooth skin. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one, again, because this person doesn't really need it, but that's the beauty of this. Each action that you apply applies its own little folder, so you can get rid of them as you need to. So here we have more enhancement tools here. Uh, these are kind of like color changes here, so I'm going to click the background, I'm going to click on Whisperer, and I'm going to click Play again. And also you get like a brownish effect, it's kind of a hipster looking effect, uh, so is the one above it, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. I'm going to click on the old jeans effect, go again back to the background, and click the play button. And it kind of does a little desaturated fade effect. Again, you can click on the folder, expand it, and see exactly what it did, which is really nice. 
So I'm going to get rid of that one as well. So one of my favorite effects here is the light glow effect. So I'm going to click on that one, make sure my background layer is selected, and I'm going to click play. So here's another dialog box. This one says, once you press continue, the gradient fill box will be revealed. When this box is open, drag the sunlight burst from the center of the image to the corner or the edge. Uh, once this is done, press OK. So what this is going to do is mimic a sun flare effect. So I'm going to click continue. And here's the box that it's talking about. Here I can move the sun flare effect all around the image wherever I want it to. And I'm going to do it right up here. And right now it's kind of a blue effect. And we want more of a, a sun light effect here. So I'm going to click on here, click on this little color icon picker here. And now I can choose any color I want to. So I'm going to go over here, uh, play around with some of the uh, warmer tones. Uh, just right there. Maybe play around with more, more orange. Uh, so just like that. So now I'm going to click OK, click OK there. I can actually change the angle if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep it the way it is, and now I'm going to click OK. So there's our sunburst effect. We can actually decrease it if we want to, to remove a little bit of the effect. Uh, we can keep it all the way at 100 if we want to. Uh, we can also take a black brush on this white layer mask here. We can take a black brush and we can kind of paint it away from the person's face. Uh, it's a little bit too much in their face. So I can get my brushes, I can back my brushes down to roughly around 40, 45 uh, on both the flow and the opacity. And all I gotta do is click a couple times around the face and what it does is just take away that effect from the face but still leaves it behind them. So just like that, there we go. And if I want more back, all I gotta do is change my brush back to black and paint it back in. So that's the beauty of having layer mask actually added to the action once you press it. So in this free starter pack, we also have a couple bonus ones here. I'm going to click on that and see what these do. Uh, we have a Preline one right here. Click on that. Kind of enhances the colors a little bit. And we also have an autumn feel. And press the play button there. And then there we go. That's another great effect. So you can see you can combine tons of these actions together if you wanted to to create a really cool photo like this. Any one of these actions can be used to create a great photo by itself. But combining multiple actions in one will really make a great looking photo just like this one. So again, if you want to download the free Photoshop action starter pack, uh, head on over to sleeklens.com or just click the link in the description down below and that'll take you directly there. And you can download these free to try for yourself. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video.